how to give a sub-Q injection or a shot under the skin. And I'm gonna show you guys quickly how to do that in this video. All right guys, so this is Bella. She's gonna be our doggy actor. She needs allergy shots given in her sub-Q layer under the skin. So you might be on this video because your dogs need to get an allergy shot, which your veterinarian said was okay for you to administer at home. So this is scary for some owners, so that's why I made this video to show you how to safely do this. Another reason you might need to give shots to your dogs is giving them insulin if you have a diabetic patient. So dogs with diabetes need shots twice a day. So I also made this video for those owners. So we give shots in the sub-Q or the fat layer because it has a slower onset time and longer duration. So for example, with insulin, you give it into the fat and you won't have to give another shot until 12 or 24 hours later. So the areas to give a sub-Q injection would be along the shoulder blades, which is common area to give vaccines, in between the shoulder blades along the back, which is a great area to give an insulin shot or any other injection sub-Q. Along the lumbar region, either side of the glutes, you can give a sub-Q injection. And then really, you can give a sub-Q injection anywhere that you can pick up that subcutaneous skin layer of your pet. So I just had to walk my little sister through this. She had to give our Dalmatian Violet a sub-Q allergy shot, and she totally had the heebie-jeebies about this. She's not a veterinarian. She was FaceTiming me, like, what do I do? How do I do this? And that's exactly why I made this video for you guys today. So basically what I told her is the more deliberate she is, the quicker she does this, the faster she just stabs the dog and injects the medication and gets it over with, the easier it's gonna be for everyone. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do that. Let me say one more thing before I get started with this because a lot of vet students or veterinarians out there might say, why did Dr. Lindsay not say draw back? Um, because if you read online about giving a sub-Q injection, it says you need to draw back the needle to make sure you're not in a vein. So I have full confidence that you guys aren't gonna hit a vein. But if you feel more comfortable drawing back, you can. That just takes longer time. If you don't have someone holding your dog for you, you might have to just inject that medication and get it over with. But just to give you some um, confidence, to hit a vein, it's very hard. You need someone to hold off that vein. You need to balance, you need to find a vein, and it's not easy. Vet techs train for years to hit a vein. So I don't think you're gonna hit a vein. If you're scared to give a sub-Q injection, go to your veterinarian and just have them do it. So here's the scary needle. Let's get started. We're gonna draw up some allergy shots here. Hey, fella, this is licking my arm. Okay, we're gonna draw this up. Here we go, and she gets two vials of this allergy shot, so I'm drawing two of these up. So there we go, it's in my 3cc syringe. So what I like to do, you don't have to do this. If you have it just like this, you can go ahead and get started. But I'm gonna change out my needle because I just poked through two rubber things and that is gonna dull my needle. So I want this to be as painless as possible. So there we go, I got myself a new needle. All right, Bella. And I'm gonna take this cap off. And Bella is a great dog. If you guys can't hold your dogs yourself, you might need a friend to help you hold your dog. But I'm gonna do this all by myself, which is what you guys are probably gonna be doing, and that's why you're watching this video. So I'm gonna give her the shot in the middle of the back, between her shoulder blades. Look at all this skin I have to grab. You see all this skin I'm grabbing? All right, so you tent up the skin and you go right in that tent and you lift it up. All right, here we go. I'm injecting right in with some force. She didn't even feel it. I'm injecting my medication. All done, just like that. Nothing, no bleeding. We're good. If you want, you can hold the site and pinch it off for any bleeding. This is a small needle. It's not gonna do anything. So that is how you give a sub-Q injection. Let's practice some more. I'm gonna give her a shot of B12. This is super harmless, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna give Bella some B12 using an insulin needle, which has the tiniest 
needle on it. It literally looks like a bee stinger this thing. So we're gonna drop some B12, isn't this fun? Okay, and now I'm gonna give this to her in her shoulder blade, okay? So I'm gonna pick up that skin. I wanna pick it up a little, like, not so high up. And I'm just gonna inject right into it. I'm actually pressing into the skin here because these insulin needles have such a tiny needle. So that was that. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna give Bella one more shot in her butt of some sterile saline. So I'm gonna draw that up with a bigger needle here. This is more of an intimidating needle. So I'm gonna go over to our gluteal region here and hold it up. And I'm kind of pinching a little bit. I'm gonna inject right in. Oop, she flinched and then inject it. So did you see I did it firm and deliberate? And I didn't draw back on any of these because the areas that I gave these injections, there are no big veins anywhere. So I'm not gonna hit a vein. The vein could wiggle out of the way. So I just picked up the skin away from any veins or arteries for that matter. Arteries are so deep, you're not gonna hit them. And I just injected into the skin and gave her that sub-Q injection. All right guys, I'm gonna show you one more way to give a sub-Q injection with someone holding the dog in case your dog is super wiggly and doesn't let you do this by yourself, you're gonna need someone to restrain your dog. So I have my lovely technician, Kristen, here, and she's gonna help hold this super cute Yorkie named Mimi who hates injections. So we're gonna show you how to restrain a dog while giving a sub-Q injection. So let's pretend Kristen is one of your friends who knows nothing about dogs, and I'm gonna show her how to hold the dog. So we're gonna pick up sweet Mimi, and I'm gonna tell your friend to just hold her, and then hold your hand like around her neck like this, not choking them obviously, but just restraining them. And we're gonna give this sub -Q shot in Mimi's shoulder right here under her fat. So this dog has hair, you know, like with the pit bull, we couldn't, we could easily see the skin. Here, we can't easily see it. So you gotta palpate and feel and lift up that skin there. Okay, so I'm gonna give her a shot of B12. I'm just gonna draw it up right here on and we're gonna inject this little bit of B12 sub-Q in her shoulder. So I part the hair here so I can see the skin. I'm gonna pinch it and lift up and inject, well, you know, try to make it so you can see. I'll go right into that area where the hair is not there. I'm gonna stab right in and inject it and pull out. There you go, and I rub it just to be kind. All right, guys, be deliberate when you give these sub-Q injections. Don't be hesitant, just go ahead and give them that shot with confidence and you guys will do great. I hope you guys liked this video and learned something. And if you did, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to get notifications when I post more videos. And please put in the comments how your experience went giving your dog their sub-Q injection.